Okay, this is the outside of the yurt. Do a real quick walk around. I'm about out of battery. Um, this is the outer portion of the decking here I'm walking on. Again, this deck is 66 by 36 feet. So there's about uh, three feet at the smallest point walking around it, but it gives you room to uh, come out and roll up the windows and things like that. This is the chimney from the fireplace on the outside. Um, there's flashing and insulated chimney pipe and all that done, done correctly. This is the one window that was fixed. This was on the sunny side when it was in Colorado. Um, so the zipper, the thread that held the zipper on uh, failed. So the uh, raft repairer built some Velcro and did a real nice job stitching up some, some stuff. Uh, it's a little dirty right now. It's coming up on winter. It hasn't been cleaned in a, in a long time. It just needs some soap and water to clean some of the moss and dirt that's on there. But here's the heat pump, uh, a two-ton unit there and the one-ton unit there. They've got their own separate circuit breakers. Again, built everything to uh, general residential code around here. This is just a cheap little thing to put up to keep the rain off of them walking in between the two yurts. Um, I, pref I didn't prefer it, but the tenants that lived here before that did that. Um, again, here's what one looks like with the window. So it's got a clear plastic uh, to keep the rain out, Velcro, but there's just netting on the backside to keep mosquitoes. Um, but all the rest of the zippers and everything are good, except for that one and, and that window there. They both kind of wore out. Um, again, walking around, there's the other platform that they're on. There's a little bit of room on the back again, so you can stay on the deck the entire time and, and walk around. More windows. Um, tried to think most things through. There's some power, so outdoor power if you wanted to blow off the deck or something like that, needed lighting or whatever it is. Um, that was just something I noticed again. The tenants were here, but there's a that's the stack that goes out for the vent for the toilet. It actually goes up higher. Looks like um, they bumped it or something and had broken, but that's just a swing they had. Those are the two vent holes for the air conditioner, heat pump, and the bathroom. Um, to kind of keep it dry. They're sealed along there. And then the back side of the, the yurt. Again, we used this area here for, again, when that's open, but we had a, a table and a barbecue, and we'd come out and, and do all of that um, on this side. So, And that's just venting for general plumbing, again, so you don't get vapor lock or whatever you want to call it. And that's just an outdoor air conditioner because the previous tenants had had, uh, and that's why you see the some of the stuff that's on their tape. The previous owners, before we purchased it, had a, a swamp cooler in the desert, um, and they'd had it taped up and a hole cut out. So we just built this to fill that and provide some extra air conditioning for the, uh, the room there. So, all right. Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of what it is.